Hello and welcome to yet another video review from Optic Straight. Today we'll be talking about the features of Kales Helia RF, where RF stands for rangefinder. Kales is a company with a long tradition. They have been around since 1898, which makes them the oldest still operating manufacturer of rifle scopes in the world. Not long ago, Kales introduced their conspicuous Helia binoculars. The brown color makes them very recognizable. Now they decided to take it one step further. This here is Kales Helia rangefinder, Kales first ever rangefinding binoculars. Kales decided to go with brown for the Helia series. The color is very natural and pleasant to look at. Not many binoculars on the market are available in such color, so these will definitely draw plenty of attention. The eye cups are rubberized and they can be fixed in four positions. One, two, three, and four. The diopter focus is located on the left ocular and the radical focus on the right ocular. The housing is made from rubber to protect the binoculars interior from potential blows and hits. The battery compartment is located on the bottom of the binoculars. This cap here has to be unscrewed with a special tool or with a coin to access the battery compartment. The binoculars are powered by a CR2 battery and you have to install it with the positive side facing in. The focus knob is very convenient to turn. These protruding parts here allow the user to get a firm grip and the same goes for the settings on both oculars. So for the diopter setting and for the radical setting, the radical focus. There are two rubberized buttons on Carlos Helia rangefinder and they can also be used when it's dusky outside since the mode button has got a flat surface while the measure button looks as if the middle was cut off. Here you can probably see the difference. This, fe uh, this feature allows the user to clearly differentiate between the buttons without having to look at them once you get used to this feeling. The user can also select from five levels of display brightness by clicking the mode button when aiming mark is visi visible. This is very useful since the user does not have to go all the way into the menu to change brightness. Brightness level can be seen here. This is how it looks in the menu. To access the menu, you have to press the mode button for three seconds while the display is turned off. You'll, you'll be given an option to either turn on EAC function or angle me measurement only. You can also select the option off, which means that only the distance to the target will be measured. Now let's talk a little bit about the EAC function. This is an enhancement of the classic rifleman's rule. So EAC stands for Enhanced Angle Compensation. It calculates the angle compensated distance, which can be displayed next to the standard measurement and thus provides a more ballistically relevant basis. This is actually the classic equivalent horizontal range or EHR with some Kales correction factor included. So this is quite a nice thing. In the menu you can also choose whether you want the distance to be displayed in meters or in yards. Kales Helia rangefinder allows both single measurement and scanning. With a single battery, approximately 3,000 single measurements can be done. And as I said, it comes with a scan feature, which is great when the target is moving or when you want to know the distance to a very small object. In that case, you just scan the surroundings and you get the desired distance. You activate the scanning mode by holding down the measurement button for three seconds. Then measurements will be displayed continually until the button is released. 
What I like very much is that the Kales chose a very unique cover, objective and ocular lens cover for their Kales Helia rangefinder. When you put it on, it looks like this. This is a very dis distinctive cover. The accessories are made by German company Waldkauts and they're a nice addition to Kales Helia rangefinder. This is quality material which also gives the binoculars a very distinctive look. And you also get this strap along with the covers. In the box you'll also get a battery, a lens cleaning cloth, a warranty card and instruction manual which I already showed before. The binoculars ability to display distance is influenced by many factors such as the size, shape of the objects and also weather conditions. The binoculars are capable of displaying distances up to 1600 yards. Such distances, however, can only be displayed in ideal conditions and the object also has to be big enough. As regards deer and similarly sized game, the binoculars are capable to display readings up to approximately 1000 yards in ideal conditions. It is also important to stress that laser range finding binoculars that have laser integrated into the optical part are not designed to be extensively used in twilight, in dusk. The laser that is integrated into the optical part uh, reduces the light transmission rate and the image will of course not be as bright as with classic binoculars. When you purchase these binoculars you'll get a warranty of 11 years. It is also quite important to point out that these are look very similar to Vortex Fury binoculars, which are also uh, which are also new on the market. There are both 8 by 42 and 10 by 42 models on the market, and they both retail for around 1,500 euros. To sum up, let's point out some great and some not so great characteristics of Kales Helia rangefinder. Let's start with the good ones. So the good one is definitely that for 1,500 euros you get binoculars capable of displaying, uh, of reading distances up to 1,500 1, meters, which is quite incredible. We are also very fond of the binoculars design. The brown color is very natural, very pleasant to look at, will draw plenty of attention. We are also pleased with the accessories made by German company Valkauts, which give the binocular a very distinctive look. The optics is also very decent for a laser range finding binoculars. And we also like the fact that they, the Kales included the EAC function, which is the equivalent horizontal range with some added Kales uh, factor correction. The bad sides, well, the first one is that the binoculars are not made in Austria, but in China. And also there are these two bulbs on the low, lower side, which do not really look great. So these are Problem. This, is, this is a problem with aesthetics, not with the functioning. This is pretty much it. So if you found this video review useful, please be so kind to give a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any additional questions, send us an email or leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.